Hello friends, hey we get another Destination Devo uh, still here in Jerusalem and so this is a uh, experience to be able to deliver a devotional to you. Uh, we're talking about peace this week and I want to take you to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 20. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full arm armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities and powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after having done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So some observations, the first one really is implied and that is the devil has weapons, but primarily they're weapons of lies. And that these arrows, these fiery arrows are really lies that would um, get into our mind, get into our spirit, get into us, and then keep us from enjoying the peace that God has for us. And so um, we have to determine that we're going to put on, we're going to stand in, we're going to be covered by what God has given us. Uh, that's his truth and that's his provision, not um, succumb to the arrows and the lies and all the things that the devil's trying to throw at you. And so one of the observations I want you to have in your mind when Paul's giving this metaphor, he's trying to tell us we are covered from head to toe with provision that God has given us. But you have to believe that. So put on the armor of God, that means by faith you're going to believe it. That means by faith when lies come, you counteract it with what God has said. And so think about some of the lies that the devil has thrown your way or shot your way. Because I, I expect he's shot an arrow that says the word um, unforgivable. He's probably shot an arrow that has a word on it that says um, unworthy, unqualified, um, um, unfixable. He's probably shot one that says hot mess, you know, your way. He said things to you about who you are that do not line up with what God says about you. And so when those arrows come and you don't feel like you're capable and you don't feel like you can lead and you don't feel um, up to the task, you've got to, you got to put on the helmet of salvation that reminds you that God has redeemed you. He has saved you. You're not unforgivable. You're redeemed. You're actually bought with a price. You're not unworthy. You're precious. You're his, you're his masterpiece in the making. You are someone that God has called and commissioned and anointed and directed and has empowered. And of course, this analogy, one more time, he's given you gifts so that you can be covered from head to toe. You don't have to fall to all the lies of the devil. You can live in an evil world and still be the person that God wants you to be. And so once you believe who you are, once you believe who God is and then who you are, you can have peace that the world cannot take away. So I want to pray about that today. But I also want to remind us so many of these promises are if and then promises. God will do this, but then if we do that, if we do our part. So he gave us the armor. He says, put it on. That means by faith, receive it. Believe it. Stand in it. And I want to pray that over us today. So Jesus, help us as we go through our week, as we go through this year. I pray that we would stand in who you are. We would stand in who we are in you. We would not buy into the lies of the world. We would not succumb to the lies of the devil. So oftentimes we are attacked in our minds and thoughts come in. And I just pray that we would now have capabilities, belief that we have we have salvation that protects us from that. We have the shield of faith, which can extinguish the fiery darts. We have the belt of truth. We're standing in the gospel of peace. We have all these things that you provided for us, Jesus. So we're not going to believe the lie that we're, we're not able, we're not capable. We're actually going to believe the truth that you've called us. You've saved us, redeemed us, forgiven us, healed us, helped us, empowered us, commissioned us, led us. Jesus, we're going to stand in that. And this week, I pray that that would give people more peace and more confidence. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.